What's up everybody and welcome back to JCH Visuals. And if you're like me, you probably know the small thing called the coronavirus. And if you're also like me, you're probably quarantined from it. <sighs> Man. So with that being said, my job has allowed me to work from home due to the whole quarantine thing. And since literally the only things I do during the week are go to work and go to the gym, uh, I can't do either because of the coronavirus. So I needed to spark a creativity because I was actually just losing my mind staring at the walls all day. And I decided that I'd make this video for you guys, maybe help you during your quarantine boredom as well. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've gathered these three random items from around the house and we're gonna do some fake product photography. So not only is this a great way to build creativity and spark some new ideas in your head, but also a great way to build your product photography portfolio. Say that five times fast. So let's start off with the Coke can. Okay, for this one, I used some water. I just filled a cup up with water and then flipped some droplets onto the can just to create a little bit more texture in the picture. Maybe it kind of look like it just got out of the fridge or just pulled it out of the cooler or something like that. And I brought out the 12 pack, just the box in general, and I used that as a good background. The water droplets add a really good texture to it. I wish I would have added more, honestly, but all in all, not terrible. Now, onto the watch. Okay, for this one, I brought along my wooden handle that I use as a stabilizer on my camera rig, and it worked really well as a nice background piece. You're allowed to bring more objects in if you'd like. <laughs> Obviously, I've done it in two pictures now, so uh, you can do that. But I really like the way the wood uh, went along with the black accents on this watch, and it just turned out to be really great. This is probably the favorite one out of the three that I took. This is what I ended up with here. So I love the final product here. It ended up really crisp and clean. The colors were really cool, and I love the textures that I ended up getting with this as well. Last but certainly not least, the Midnight by Bath & Body Works Body Wash 2-in-1 Hair Shampoo. This is too much. So in this one, I decided to just straight up do a normal reflection shot on the edge of the tub, and it really wasn't what I'm looking for, so I added some soap to the, the scrunchy thing and then uh, created a bunch of suds around it to kind of give it that look of if someone just used it right out of the shower. Uh, in the end, this one turned out okay. It's a little bit more grainy than I was wanting. But my favorite part about this was that the warm tones from the bathroom lights were hitting on that outer side and you can see the glow right there. And you can also see where my light, which is a little bit cooler, hit on the right side. So it's really cool mixing those tones. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Product photography is such an important version of photography. Like you can take it anywhere you go in life. You can get your way into brands with it. You can help your friends out if they have a product they're trying to sell. You can go straight up to brands and be like, here's my portfolio. Uh, this is what I can do. I've seen your content. I think I can make it better. That kind of a thing. Like have confidence in your work and doing this. And it all starts with practice with in-house objects and just building your way up to there. And if you guys do any of these, please post on your Instagram and tag me at JCH visuals underscore. I'm going to put it like right here or over there somewhere. I don't like doing this. Um, but if you do post it, uh, tag me in it. I'd love to see it. I'll comment on there. I'll, I'll like it. I'll put it on my story. I'll do whatever. I mean, you guys are reason why I do this. So thank you guys so much. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you next time. I guess it's time for the watch. What's up guys? Maybe in a few weeks if we're still in quarantine I might make another video on more product photography. Fingers crossed we aren't but I'll be here.